Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Today we are taking a look at Yuka Sasso's golf swing. If you don't know who Yuka Sasso is, she's a young LPGA rookie who just won her first major and she has modeled her golf swing on Rory McIlroy. And today we're taking a look at her golf swing and Rory's golf swing and seeing exactly how close they are. So first of all, we're going to have a look at Yuka, then Rory, and then we're going to put the two together and compare them. So let's dive straight in guys by the way if you are enjoying this make sure to hit that like button comment any thoughts you have down below i reply to all your comments and of course subscribe to the channel and check me out on instagram mike's 3d life loads more content there so guys let's dive in here we have yuka sasso set up with what looks like probably a seven iron and setup position great setup position um, pretty similar, you know, at first look, kind of does look a little bit similar to Rory's. Um, hips are maybe a little bit far back, almost slightly behind the ankles, but not too bad. Um, everything else good, great alignment, love to see that. As we take the club back, if we slowly take it back and if we pause it parallel to the ground, uh, quite inside, starting starting to come inside, that club's really starting to kind of move in behind her quite quickly, but at this position, square club face with her spine angle, nice takeaway, you know, nothing too special there, taking the club away with the hand, uh, with the um, body and lower body pivoting and upper body pivoting as well. And as we start to play this to the top, we're gonna notice the club is gonna work slightly in behind her a little bit, and then it's gonna move up and slightly above the shoulders. And if we pause it at this top position, great position there, a lot of width in the swing. Um, quite a lot to talk about really. A good amount of hip turn um, does look a little bit similar in the lower body to Rory's, definitely. If you look at those hip turns, that lower body, you could probably cut that off and stitch it onto Rory, Rory McIlroy's golf swing. But upper body, great position. That right arm, uh, great width with it. Probably not even at 90 degrees, probably more than that. Um, so really good width. Uh, club perfectly on plane. Yeah, everything's good. Club face matching that left wrist. Just a good, solid overall position. Here she's going to, if we start to play this slowly down, she's going to start to shallow out this club quite a lot and drop it kind of down and in behind her, shallowing the club out as she starts to rotate. And if we pause it, well, let's pause it just as she comes into impact, just after impact. And that is a great position. Good spine, you know, spine angle is good. Posture is maybe not so good, but pretty good. The right heel has come off, off the ground quite a lot. Now, this is something we kind of see to either extremes, really. A lot of players will lift it up really early, and a lot of players might leave it down uh, a little bit longer. Personally, I prefer the right heel, more like Tiger Woods does, he kind of rolls onto the inside of the right foot instead of getting the heel up off the ground. But the weight is going through her left heel, we can see that here. And also a great amount of rotation as well, pretty athletic golf swing as she comes through. And if we slowly play this through, she really releases that club hard up, kind of above her shoulders and in front of her there and great extension on the finish position. Let's just play this swing through a few times. Guys, comment down below, what are your thoughts on this golf swing? Is there anything I haven't mentioned there that you think needs to be mentioned? Obviously, I'll be, when we compare it to Rory, I'll be more talking direct comparisons with him and talk a little bit more about a few things. But if there's anything you think I've missed, comment down below as we take a look at this. It's definitely a great swing. Uh, it's I'm not sure exactly how much I'd say it's like Rory's, but we'll get into that when we have a look in a second. Love the way she shallows the club out. Actually, there's a few things I'd probably like a bit more than uh, in Rory's golf swing. But now let's have a look at Yuka Sasso from front on, guys. So this is from front on with the driver. Now, first of all, setup position. Good setup position. You can definitely see a little bit of Rory McIlroy in that. Uh, kind of that wide base. Rory gets those legs so wide. And if we start to play this slowly back, as she starts to take the club away, she does shift 
onto that right side, quite a little bit of lateral movement onto that right side. If we pause it parallel to the ground, we can kind of already see how shifted and loaded she is into that right side, into that right hip. And if we continue now to play it all the way to the top, I love the width in this swing. She is very athletic, fair, you know, all credit to her, very athletic golf swing. If we pause it at the top here, parallel to the ground, I really like this position actually with driver. I actually really, really do. She's really loaded into that right side, really turned into that right hip. She's a great spine angle, um, you know, away from the ball. It's really going to allow her to hit up on the ball quite a lot. She's kept a lot of width, and she's got that club perfectly parallel to the ground, and a huge shoulder turn. We can see she, there her shoulders are turned far more than 90 degrees, so she must be very, very athletic. If we start to play it down, we're going to see a little bit of squat into the ground, classic Rory there, and turns away, and look at this position here at impact, how much she's jumping up off the ground and how her hips are really facing the target, she's really rotating hard through this ball, if you look at her feet and her lower body, she, she's hardly touching the ground with her feet really, a pretty impressive... Uh, swing that, I mean, not something I'd recommend, but, you know, obviously goes at it pretty hard. As we play this swing through, she's hitting up on this ball a lot. We can see that club comes up and works in front of her as she extends the arms in front of her and now comes through to a balance finish on that left side. Now, guys, let's have a look at Rory. So we took a look at Yuka there with iron and with driver from front on. So we'll do the same with Rory. We'll have a look at Rory's golf swing with iron and then driver front on, and then we're going to compare it to Yuka's. We'll be quick about this, though, because we have done and talked about Rory's McElroy, Rory McElroy's golf swing on my channel before, and I'll probably do some more videos on it, to be honest. But if you want to, uh, if you see those videos, check them out on my channel, in-depth videos about Rory's golf swing and some of the swing changes he is making. So guys, here we have Rory set up. Again, looks like about a 7 iron here, so a good comparison. Setup position, very, very similar. Actually, on, honestly, that lower body is so, so similar to Yuka's, and posture and alignment, everything looks very, very similar to Yuka Sasso's golf swing. As we take the club back, he's, he is going to work it a bit inside, a bit like she does quite quickly. Gets the kind of working pretty much down the line. If we pause it parallel to the ground, um, you know, maybe not quite as inside as she does, and he also probably has the mm, club face maybe marginally more open than she does at this point, but pretty close comparison. Um, the, the body looks very similar, turned with the hips and the shoulders, all that looks pretty similar. If we play this to the top, he's going to not get quite as inside as she did, but start to work. He definitely gets the club a little bit behind him, then works the hands and arms up. And if we pause it at the top here, this is where I see a few differences, which I'll more talk about when we compare these two swings. But there are quite a few differences here between Yuka Sasso and Rory McIlroy. Uh, in particular, the swing play, Rory gets his hands and arms a little bit lower, and the club is definitely a lot more down the line. You can see a lot more of that club face. Uh, but from here, and there's also going to be differences on the way down, which again, I will touch on when we compare them in a second. Here, Rory actually drops the hands and arms back down in front of him. Uh, comes down fairly steep and on the inside. If we pause it parallel to the ground, he does get into a pretty good position here, turning out the way of it. Maintains uh, flexion in the knees, hips, as he starts to rotate out the way. Maintains his spine angle, and if we pause it at impact... Uh, well, first of all, notice how Rory's right heel is pretty much flat on the ground, so there's one immediate difference. But Rory hips, shoulders, everything open there. And as we play this through, Rory exits to the left, releases the club. Um, not quite so up in front of him, but that classic more Rory McIlroy finish position. And now, guys, let's have a look at Rory from front on with the driver, and then we're going to get into the good stuff. We're going to compare these two swings. So Rory with the driver here, setup position, classic Rory, we don't really need to touch on that too much. And as Rory takes the club away, we are going to see that slight lateral shift onto the right side, into the right hip, we pause it parallel to the ground. 
we can clearly see there's been slight slight lateral movement there as we take it now to the top huge shoulder turn huge rotation and if we pause it at the top here club just marginally short of parallel to the ground but huge I mean that shoulder rotation honestly is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous guys just 99% of us would not even be able to get close to that but look at the body rotated into that right side pressure into the ground in his right heel and as we take the club down we're going to notice a lateral shift back to the left putting pressure into the left foot left leg as Rory starts to push up off the ground, he's squatted into the ground, now he's pushing up off it as we come into impact here. Um, definitely, there's definitely a lot of differences between Yuka Sasso's goal swing and Rory McIlroy's at this point, which I will again mention in a second. But if we look at Rory's swing here, a lot of weight and pressure going through the ball, through that left leg onto his left side as he releases the club down the line, extending the hands and arms in front of the body as he rotates and comes through to that classic Rory McIlroy finish position. Now, guys, let's get into the good stuff. We're going to start to compare these two golf swings. This is what you guys came for. Now, first of all, let's put these iron swings back to back. Now, Let's first of all set up. Setups do look quite similar to me. Definitely look quite similar. Um, you know, but it's not that difficult to copy a setup position, obviously, because you're not even moving. But setups definitely pretty similar. As we start to take the club back, Yuka Sasso definitely in my eyes keeps it a little bit more inside in the face, a little bit more closed. But if we pause it at parallel to the ground, pretty similar positions here. Pretty similar, um, you know, marginal differences, but tiny. As we start to play it back, Yuka Sasso gets the club a little bit deeper earlier and more in behind her, but then works the arms more up. And if we pause it at the top, she gets her arms a little bit higher than Rory does. Rory gets those arms a little bit lower. Also, it is important to mention that I think I believe Yuka Sasso hasn't tried to copy Rory copy Rory's golf swing, uh, his 2020 or 2021 golf swing. She's actually tried to copy more of his early stages golf swing, which is probably a slightly better swing. Didn't he got the arms a little bit higher in that swing? Didn't get the club so kind of down the line or even across the line so those are massive differences there for me the arm structure is completely different Rory's got the club more down the line even across the line was more of a kind of well it's a square club face but it kind of looks more closed you can see a lot more of that club face and Yuka Sasso definitely has the club obviously more kind of on plane more laid off in a straight line with the with that left arm and if we look at the right arm as well Rory's kind of a little bit more tucked in Yuka's kind of a little bit more away from her but in terms of the body positions pretty similar load into the right side you know pretty similar positions there it's more the arm structure and where the club is at that's slightly different but as we play this down we're going to see some more differences here um, if we play Yuka's down first we're going to see she's going to shallow the club and really drop it behind her as she starts to rotate. And if we pause it just short of uh, just short of parallel with the ground, um, you know, this is going to be very different to Rory's. And I actually kind of prefer what Yuka does with the club in this position. Now, if we play Rory's down with the iron from the top, he's actually going to more kind of get the club a bit steeper a bit more out in front of him not quite as flat not quite as shallow and if we pause this at a similar position uh they are quite different yuka's arms are more deeper the club's flatter more shallow rory's more kind of using the hands and arms to drop the club and release it on the inside and if we play uh if we play rory through to impact He's going, he's not really going to rotate too much. He's more shifting weight and pressure uh, laterally. If we pause it at impact, um, that, that left 
foot is, you know, flat on the ground. He is rotated through with the lower body and the shoulders. They are open to the target. But this is, again, going to be different to Yuka as we play this down. That right heel is going to move up off the ground quite quickly. And she's coming more through a lot more shallow. And if we pause it at impact with Yuka, we can see more open chest and shoulders definitely obviously the right heel much more up off the ground and if we play yuka's swing through we're going to see she's going to kind of release quite hard but more up and in front of her that club comes like up above her left shoulder and up and in front of her and then to the finish whereas if we play rory's through we are going to notice that club it is going to work up but the hands and arms work a little bit more left as he releases it kind of comes under his left shoulder a bit more and then through to that nice balanced finish and that right heel obviously stayed on the ground a lot longer now guys let's have a look at uh, the comparison between Rory McIlroy and Yuka Sasso from front on with the drivers by the way guys if I'm missing any pieces of information uh, that you guys think you see and think I've missed out, comment them down below and reply to all of your comments and make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. So now let's dive in with the driver. And by the way, at the end of this, I'm going to be summing up some of the similarities, some of the differences, who does what better as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So guys, here we have both of them set up with driver. Now, Let's just play this through and you guys can just watch it and see what you think first of all. Let's just play this through. There's some similarities, but there's also some big differences in my mind. But if we play this through, I mean, it is a great comparison we have here. It looks absolutely awesome. And through to the finish. Okay, now let's take it back to the start. And first of all, let's talk about the setup pretty similar setup positions there's a few maybe minor differences it looks like rory's ball position maybe a tiny bit further forward um but m very minor uh yuka sasso a little bit more tilt away from the ball and that is going to be a trend we continue to see now if we play these these through but actually if we just have a look again at the setup uh, both players look like they probably have about 55 to 60 percent of their weight on their right side even at the setup and this is only going to increase as we start to play this swing back i want you to notice the lateral shift both of them make on to the right side they both make a lateral shift away from the target and if we pause it here big lateral shift for both of them they both laterally shifted right onto the right side now not something i'd 100 percent recommend doing too much because most people probably do it more than they should anyway um and they also don't do it correctly how these players are doing they're actually loading into the right hip as we slowly take the club to the top, we can see Yuka definitely gets more wrist hinge earlier in the golf swing, and probably even just in general, a bit more wrist hinge. And if we have it paused at the top here, there's a lot of similarities here. There really is. The lower body is very, very similar. If you look at both of their lower bodies, it's actually a little bit hard to distinguish them. They're that similar, honestly. They are very, very close. The upper body is where I see a few little differences. First of all, Rory doesn't quite get the club to parallel, and Yuka gets it definitely to parallel. Um, Yuka has more wrist hinge. We can kind of quite clearly see that. But Rory has more shoulder turn. And also, Yuka's spine angle is very, very different to Rory's. They're both tilted away from the ball, away from the target, so that they can hit up on the ball with this driver. But Yuka is much, much more tilted than Rory, and this is a trend we're going to see as we start to take this down. Now, as we do start to take this down, the trend we're going to see is Yuka stays far, far more tilted away, and she keeps her weight a lot further back on her right side. She keeps more weight on her right side and rotates. Rory shifts more weight to his left side earlier and through the ball. 
Now let's play this down and you guys can see that and Rory's spine angle will not be anywhere near as tilted back. So as we slowly play this down, both rotating, but just look, Yuka, Rory shifts that weight left, Yuka's weight is much more central. Rory's rate is all coming through that left side and if we pause it at impact here, they are quite different positions. They both have rotated and their arm structure is quite similar, but Yuka has, well, first of all, her feet are almost off the ground, whereas Rory's are still very, very planted, and Rory has way more weight going into his left foot. Yuka has kind of done the classic spin out of it, well, which isn't a bad thing, I'm not saying she's like spun out of the shot, but she's probably a bit more rotated. Rory's got more lateral shift, Yuka's got a bit more rotation and stays a bit more central, whereas Rory will shift his weight across. And as we play this through, again, we'll be able to see this. Rory has all that weight on his left side, and as they extend the arms, and stays there, and then Yuka eventually kind of brings her weight up to her left side. Let's play this through a few times for you guys, and you guys can decide for yourself if there's any other differences you see. And just take a good look at this. I mean, they, there are a lot of similarities, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they're not similar golf swings, but there are quite fundamental differences as well. They, you know, I'd like to know what videos of Roy McIlroy you could copy, because I have a feeling they'd be a lot earlier in his career. So guys, let me know what you think of those two golf swings, Yuka Sasso and Rory McIlroy. Which do you prefer? There certainly are things that Yuka does, in my opinion, a little bit better than Rory, but there's also things Rory does a little bit better than Yuka. And for personally, some of my favorite things about Yuka's swing, I prefer Yuka's top position that she gets into at the top of the golf swing to Rory's. I think, you know, Rory can at times get the hands and arms a little bit deep, a uh, little bit low and deep uh, with the hands and arms at the top, which gets that club a little bit kind of across the line, a little bit kind of, not a shut club face, but just kind of a little bit across the line. Then from there, he kind of drops the hands and arms down. He really has to have this big release with the hands and arms, which can cause that kind of two-way miss if he gets a bit under plane. Whereas Yuka shallows the club a bit more uh, using her rotation to kind of stabilize the club face but I don't like how her heel, her right heel, gets off the ground so early and with the driver she really does jump up and uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing but it just means it's, for the average person it's going to be so much more difficult to strike the ball out of the middle of the club face if at impact your feet are hardly touching the ground. It's going to be very, very, very difficult. There's a few other differences from front on that we saw where, you know, with the rotation, with the spine angle, with the lateral shift in movement that we kind of talked about, Yuka staying more central, uh, Rory shifting a little bit more left laterally, but they do both have quite similar takeaways, very similar lower bodies in the takeaway and back swing and at the top of the swing. And I would say Yuka's done a very good job of copying Rory's golf swing, or maybe a previous version of Rory's golf swing, it's hard to know. But she's definitely a great player, and I'm super excited to also see Rory as he makes some swing changes with Pete Cowan and really coming back to his best. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below if you have any thoughts or reply to all of your comments. Give it a like and subscribe to the channel as well. And check me out on Instagram, Mike's3DLife. And I will see you guys very soon in the next one. As always, guys, grip it and rip it.